This is the one chart that proves that China's credit bubble is enormous and it is getting too big for them to handle and that there's the law of diminishing returns or the law of marginal utility with debt and credit for GDP growth. So I found this chart after I did my China video last week. Otherwise, this chart would have been in there. I think this exemplifies the massive credit bubble in China better than any one other chart. So if you take a look at this chart here, the data is from Bloomberg and also a emerging markets management company called Apple Tree Capital. They invest money in emerging markets. My buddy, Daniel Lacaye, put this on his Twitter after my China video came out a week ago, which by the way, has over 10,000 views and a record number of likes, over 800. So thank you very much for that. So as you can see here, guys, it now takes with that arrow 6.75 units of credit for one unit of GDP in China. Whereas 10 years ago, remember I said 10 years ago, things were very, very different in China. If you look at 2007, 2008 on the chart here, things are much, much different and the trend is much higher. So this proves that China has a lot of bad debt and that the credit bubble, the amount of credit China has put into their economy, they get very little bang for their buck now. It takes an enormous amount of credit for one unit of GDP now. Just wrapping up this short little video to show you guys this chart, I think this chart more than any of the other charts that I showed in that China presentation exemplifies how bad the credit bubble in China is and how it is definitely not sustainable and they might not be able to add additional credit without enormous repercussions. And this goes back to Ludwig von Mises, who said, you know, once you go to fiat currency and you start doing an enormous amount of credit, that you will eventually have a currency crisis. So finally, as we wrap things up here, I want to thank everyone who is a Patreon account contributor for me. I have over 80 now, so thank you very much. Hopefully, you guys will stick with me as I grow my business, and hopefully, I will add more. If you can't afford to be a monthly Patreon account contributor, maybe you can chip in a few bucks once in a while. I accept one-time donations through my website. There is a link on there to send to my PayPal.